Hello, I'm Stacy Bratcher, your Kearney Chamber of Commerce Executive Director, and this is Take Note Kearney, sponsored by the Kearney Trust Company, where they believe in the power of community and shopping locally. Today, we are talking to Tony Holland with Isotech Casey Coyote. Tony, thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for asking me. Now, tell us a little bit about what is Isotech Casey Coyote. Well, Isotech was founded in 1985, and um, my wife and I decided that we needed to have some technology availability in the rural community, just mm -hmm. like in the mainstream community of mm -hmm. downtown. So, so we focused on meeting the needs of the rural community in the beginning from uh, setting up servers, software, PCs, sales. But uh, the time came when the internet became uh, real prevalent in 2000. Now, we incorporated in 1986. 1985, 1986 time frame. <clears throat> so we were on the beginning of the internet uh, bubble mm -hmm. there. Uh, we found out that in the rural community that from cities like Trimble, Gower, even Liberty, people had to dial long distance in order to get onto the internet in right. its infancy. Mm -hmm. so dial up. I, uh, dial up. <laughs> so Eileen and I put in a bunch of T1 lines to give everybody local dial tones so they could have uh, internet access on a on a very, very uh, inexpensive line and still keep their main telephone line open for babysitters and everything oh, else. Interesting. So okay. uh, we were just looking at uh, the idea that where's the pain? Where does somebody have a need? And what can we do to solve that need? Well, we, we grew through that, uh, building quite a, a user base of customers um, on the dial-up. And we were also s providing support services for computers for people's PCs. We even tried selling cell phones for a while. Oh. Uh, based out of Trimble, Missouri, we actually had the most notorious uh, bar north of the river, the Good Times <laughs> Bar. And if any building can have a conversion, that one did. So we, uh, we completely gutted it and built our technology resource center there. We stayed in the Trimble area until we outgrew it, and then we added the Kearney offices and uh, in June of 2012. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> our, at the era of 2000, the uh, internet was going well beyond the needs of the dial-up. Right. So we decided that we would move into the wireless industry. Uh, we worked uh, real diligently on trying to provide the, provide the very, very best uh, wireless uh, internet that would compete with what everybody else had. Okay. Uh, we were able to create a, a rural network of elevated locations, towers, green elevators, um, first responder towers, oh. and, and so we leased space on towers until the whole network at its peak was broadcasting through nine counties from 75 broadcasting locations. Wow. Uh, from our Kearney offices, we decided that uh, we would have a data center and then the data center would be where we brought the fiber uh, optics in to that support our wireless network. So we did a little bit of a unique thing from any other provider in that we have multiple fiber carriers. Um, it always seems like if you're on a single source network, there will be an outage and you will have some downtime. So we decided to try to eliminate that possibility by adding um, three carriers into our network and we even wanted diversity. We did not want lo a local outage to affect all the carriers at once. So one of the carriers cross connects into the internet in Kansas City, one in Chicago, and one in St. Louis. Oh, interesting. So no single carrier uh, would become the point of failure for our network. Uh, we decided that uh, we would always have a highly reliable network and a, uh, try to do the very, very best we could do with customer service. and. For the longest time, uh, we really had um, a real uh, corner on the market. We had staked our territory out. We had some competitors around us. But the time came that the uh, government grants were given. A lot of right. fiber optics came into the rural communities. Yes. And we lost a lot of subscribers. But uh, we weren't able to stay in business this long by just doing one thing. So. <laughs> We have, we have modified our uh, model a little bit for our new go forward plan. Uh, we have some significant contracts with um, uh, subcontractors 
to allow us to do things like emergency responder enhanced communications, uh, cameras, intercoms, um, anything networking involved in uh, buildings or on campus for wireless. So it's netted us a, a new era of uh, effort and opportunity. So we can, we're looking for new people. We're planning on hiring probably uh, four to six new techs. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. We would like to have some uh, office help uh, to kind of augment our, uh, our staff. Sure. Well, one of the things I love about your business, Tony, is you are constantly innovating and changing with the need and what's happening in the technology industry. What advice would you give to a younger business owner? Well, I always give one set of advice, and that is when you start something, you better know when you're going to finish it. Hmm. Uh, you need to have an exit plan. Uh, you need to plan how far you're going to go. Uh, and that works uh, in all kinds of organizations. If you're, uh, if you're a government and you're going to have a war, you have to have an exit plan. If you're a business, you have to have an exit plan. And of course, if you're a marriage, you have an exit plan, <laughs> which would be for Eileen and I until death do us part. Right. Right. Uh, Eileen passed away in 2017, oh. and uh, we ceased to be a mom and pop shop at that point, and we had to had to run and play in the rules of the big boys. So yeah. uh, that that's how we operate now. But you need to have your exit plan. Uh, the other thing is is uh, never rely on uh, your own skills. You have to surround yourself with all the skills that you will need, mm -hmm. and be uh, willing to compete heartily. So uh, every Every industry will have competitors, yes. and we were grateful for the time that our competition was low, but we, uh, we did see it, see it coming and we were able to change. Great. You have to grow with the change of your community. Yeah. But always serve your customers. Well, wherever the pain is, see if you have a solution and stay with your core values. Nice, very good advice. So you moved your company to Kearney. Mm -hmm. What is it that attracted you to Kearney and what are some of your favorite things about Kearney? Well, the Kearney community was very welcoming. Uh, it gave us an opportunity because of its location on the highway structures and things to actually gain a more fiber access uh -huh. uh, than where we were in Trimble. Uh, we had a short time when we were actually in Carrollton, Missouri as well. We still have accounts in Carrollton, Missouri, but we have no office space there. Uh, we, uh, we like Kearney because of its location. It is very, very easy to work with the city. The permitting processes were good, um, and we didn't have a real big heavy load of, of doing anything we needed to do as long as it was legitimate. Great. So I know the chamber, we have our Wi-Fi managed through Casey Coyote. Um, help the listeners understand if they own a business or a home in Kearney, are you able to service them? Uh, we're trying to expand the ability of the technology to service them. The original wireless internet uh, was a line of sight product. Uh, and so you really needed to be within a reasonable distance of a tower. Uh, in the building in Kearney, it's a multi uh, tenant unit, so we have got uh, that building, this building is totally wired. I would say it's probably the first gigabit capable building in Kearney if oh, you wow. want to have a gigabit of internet. Uh, we have plenty of bandwidth coming in with the three carriers uh, that we have, and there's, uh, we have 10 gigabit service from each carrier. So we can expand there. We can also uh, resell for our carriers. So that expanded our abilities to sell fiber itself. Uh, we get great discounts from them. Uh, we're also working with a mobility uh, environment for Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, mm -hmm. and we will have a unit that we will manage uh, that it would be a similar thing that you would buy on your own, but you would get our customer service. Oh, and so that's where we're trying to reach into the, uh, the other areas that our our original technology would not uh, dress, but we would also provide the customer service. We don't just, uh, we've always had the model of the internet is that it doesn't stop at the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, our techs are highly trained in engine and uh, networking and they will be able to look at your inside uh, network and make sure that your experience, depending on how many uh, gaming, how much uh, work at home, how much 
telephone you need, and it just we just provide a very stable internet to meet those needs inside. Excellent. Well, Tony, thank you so much for being with us today. If people want to reach out and connect with you, how do they find you? Well, we have our websites. The isotech-inc.com is the parent company. Casey Coyote uh, would have caseycoyote.com. And we have Facebook accounts. And also our phone number is 816-866-3028. And okay. uh, we'll be able to get back to you uh, very, very quickly any time of the day. Excellent. Tony, thank you so much. Well, we appreciate your time okay. today. Well, thank you for having me up. <laughs> I'm Stacy Bratcher with the Kearney Chamber of Commerce, and this is Take Note Kearney, sponsored by the Kearney Trust Company, supporting the Kearney community since 1882. Thank you for watching today.